Well, closer to home borrowers may face higher interest rates because of a new rule brought in by Australia's banking regulator, APRA. SBS Finance Editor Ricardo Gonzalez joins us now. Ricardo, that's despite an expected oversupply in the property market. Yeah, Janice, it looks like supply and demand will soon balance out. Now, since 2006, Australia's property market has been in undersupply. In other words, not enough homes were being built. Market forecasters, BIS Shrapnel, says that's all about to change and by 2018 there will be an oversupply of homes. Now that may be good news especially for first home buyers who have never had to save harder to get their foot on the property ladder. First home buyers know how hard it is to enter the market. Saving for a deposit is just the start. As difficult as it ever has been in history. Assuming a savings rate of 15% of household income, it takes Sydney ciders more than nine years to save a 20% deposit. Eight years in Melbourne, Canberra is most affordable. Over the next year or two, it will continue to, uh, to remain difficult and could even become more difficult. That's because soft labour market conditions will mean weak income growth making it harder to pay for homes which are being built at a rapid rate and keep going up in value. In terms of residential building at least, we're at an all-time record. BIS Shrapnel predicts more than 210,000 dwellings were built last financial year, the most since 1994. Low interest rates sparked a rush of construction which will start to ease from this year. We don't see that as having a dramatic effect on prices. There may be a small correction in prices, but not a crash. Leading to a small oversupply by 2018. Most of the falls will be in places like Victoria and Western Australia. New South Wales will continue to have a lot of momentum for a few years to come. That may provide opportunities at the low end of the market because most of the dwellings that are being built are multi-storey units. Which will um, make home deposit affordability for apartments um, a lot better compared to uh, coming up with a deposit for a, for a detached house. While official interest rates are expected to remain on hold for the foreseeable future, borrowers may still be hit. The banking regulator today told Australia's big banks to hold more cash in reserve just in case the housing market stalls and home loans can't be repaid. The chances are, I think, that the banks will pass these costs on. That may mean higher mortgage rates as supply hits the market. Whether or not they're able to do so will have a lot to do with the competitive environment. It's part of a global push to make sure banks around the world are well funded to avoid another global financial crisis. Well investors got out on the right side of bed today because the Australian share market rose for a fifth day in a row. The banks did most of the heavy lifting ANZ the best. APN News and Media was the number one stock today on the 200. Resort stocks were mixed but gold producers were smashed as the price of the yellow metal slumped 10%. If you're going to the US on holiday, I hope you've exchanged earlier because we're now at a six-year low against the greenback. Why? Well, more positive economic news, this time on the US housing market, suggesting the economy is strengthening, giving the Fed Reserve more reason to lift interest rates sometime soon. And on the commodity markets, gold and oil are lower. And that's the day in finance.